Well, hello there and welcome to issue number 87 and this issue concerns the Gemini Tiger um, and as you can see on the uh, caption prior to the video um, those are all the dates you have to be in to be in this uh, Eastern and Western astrological combination if there's anybody with any questions um, please uh, drop me a line on here or a, a message about any um, dates etc and I will clear any issues or questions up if you want to know your great grandparents um, sign etc anything like that and um, I'll gladly let you know any information that you need okay then let's start straight away with this uh, combination as a child well you've got the Gemini very very intelligent um, very witty um, the child you will notice is, is sort of a bit of a bit of a jack in the box in a lot of respects and really love to learn they really are you know the more uh, changes in the lesson the more you know the more it progresses the more happier they are um, the only time you can see a Gemini on set is if they get a bit stale they get a bit bored because um, they love advancing they love new lessons they love um, trying to hand at anything so they're really really good at that um, so variety is so important for them. Um, home tutoring can really help as well with the with the uh, the Gemini child because um, it adds a stimulus and you get somebody who's so fantastic in their field that they learn. Um, you know they really would absorb it. And as I say, you know uh, they great at taking on anything new, especially um, languages, etc. Um, they have a great flair. And if you add the tiger into this mix, so you have somebody, again, intelligence is majorly, um, is a major thing here, and also um, their willingness to try and break new ground. So, again, it's, it speaks to me of variety. This child needs variety um, and plenty of it. it. They can really enjoy sports, but they can really enjoy serious academic stuff puzzles, they really enjoy um, problem solving, um, you know, and, and, and that's the key. For your child to be happy, um, you have to make sure their teachers, you know, they're on the ball with these, you know, otherwise they can drift off a little. If they're not, if they're not challenged, um, they can drift off and then they can get a little bit um, over playful and a bit sort of uh, restless and, and sort of interfere with everybody else. Everybody else might be struggling to keep up, um, but they'll just be sort of like mucking about a bit because they're bored, they've done it, it's easy. And you'll find this uh, goes along with this character all the way through, through the secondary, college years, university years. They're both very keen on university life um, because then it will afford them um, the, uh, the, the independence and, and to learn from the lessons that they choose, you know, and to really get in depth. Um, and they, as I say, they'd be excellent. So we've got the tiger, as we spoke about in other issues, being, you know, a bit of a freedom fighter. They love justice. Um, the Gemini um, also is very prone to sort of like um, defending many people in the sense of they have a variety of friends. So. Um, they can get involved in a lot of things, but what you'll find with the Gemini Tiger is they're quite reactionary. They really react with the company they're in. So, say for instance, um, they're in the company of somebody who I don't know. They, you know, they're into saving animals, etc. That they'd be on it, and then they might be the following week into in, in with the company who wants to save the, the, you know, the British Legion, say for instance, and put money into that. Then they're that is totally focused on that. They're very changeable, they're a complete flux, um, and they will get on board with so many different things. But the key here is to try and, as they've gotten older, to settle on maybe two or three things and devote their time to that, because being reactionary, they can be a little bit flippant in, its, in the amount of time that they give to various things. So. Um, it's great, yes, to have so many different friends and so many different interests, but sometimes you have to dedicate yourself maybe to two or three areas to get the best out of yourself rather than flitter and flutter like a butterfly. They're a little bit like a butterfly in that sense where they'll be zoned in one week, 
couple of weeks I go missing, then they'll return their zone bin, and it's consistency that I'd love to see um, improve in the Gemini Tiger, and I'm sure they would as well. They'd love to see that um, improved in themselves because I think they can get a little bit low on themselves when they think, oh, hold on a minute, you know, maybe I haven't put the time in here, I haven't put the time in there, I'm stretching myself thin. Um, I would just suggest concentrate on those two, three core strong subjects that you enjoy. Doesn't mean say you can't have the interest outside. Um, and also with your your natural um, willingness to help people, um, especially the unfortunate, then try and narrow it down to two or three causes for the year. Doesn't mean say you're you're you're, you're attached to them for always. Really devote some time in and say right, I'm going to give them a year. It's hard to keep the concentration. It's hard to keep them um, excited for X amount of time. But that's the key, and really Gemini Tiger's got to work at that, to say, okay, I've got to keep this stimulating, it's not just down to the, the subject or the people involved, I've got to keep myself stimulated, and I really think that would make a happier Gemini Tiger. Um, as for work, they're very capable of so many different things, um, intellectually you'll find them, I doubt if you'll find them very much in... Um, manual jobs or your everyday jobs. I could see them being a chemist, um, a biologist, uh, I could see them um, cancer research. I could see them doing, you know, some real, real um, innovative groundbreaking stuff. Plus, with outside interests, you know, they're forever busy. And they need a partner who's going to really go with the flow with them because, you know, you've got someone who's in flux consistently a little bit hot and cold sometimes um, and if you don't stimulate them their eyes can wander so it's a challenge it's a challenge for the partner that wants to be with the Gemini Tiger um, and the Gemini Tiger's got to go a little bit easy understand a little bit of you know who they're coming across um, and that's really the key because otherwise the Gemini Tiger can have quite a few partners they can sort of have a whirlwind three, four, five months of fantasticness and it can drift aimlessly because they're not stimulated anymore in the relationship. Um, they found that they've outgrown it. They outgrow things quite quickly and they want to break new ground. But again, I think by finding the right partner, I'm not necessarily saying do it very early. I'm going to say um, maybe attack this problem in the middle to later 20s of getting that cast iron relationship um, but what you've got to be careful on not leading the ones before you meet leading them on to believing it's anything more than it's going to be I think um, I know you don't like to hurt people's feelings but sometimes being strictly honest you know you will save a lot of feelings and um, you know and I think that will make you feel a lot happ happier in yourself well when you are um, you know, you're into that later 20s and you think, okay, maybe I can get something cast iron behind me. Who am I looking for? Well, you need someone who's going to be able to change with you, stimulate you mentally as well as, as, well as physically. In fact, I would say more so mentally. Um, they need a constant, uh, you know, back and forth of intellectual conversation and doing stuff, activities. So that's going to be probably more important than the sexual side of it so because that will last the mental stimulation is going to last so who are we going to find for the Gemini Tiger well I personally think uh, we have to look for the horses the horses um, again a little bit of unpredictability we have to put energy into stuff that can change um, and they are very stimulating they look after themselves um, and there's going to be a lot of key interests, a lot of key area, and the horse will back the tiger on some of them soldiers into um, being very charitable, and the horse will back them and say, no, I appreciate that you want to do that, um, and they will even add their own intelligence slant on maybe how to create more money for the purpose, or more interest, so mm, that's going to be very stimulating and very important. So let us look for the Aquarius horse. The Aries horse 
the Leo Hurst and the Libra Hurst. Very, very good matches. And also, we have to look at dogs because dogs are very, very caring, but they're also very adaptable. So they adapt solely to their partner. They're very zoned in, they're very loyal. The type of Gemini will very appreciate this so much. They'll be thinking, well, I know this person's in my corner and they're standing there all the time. And also with the, uh, the dogs, sexuality or sexual activity isn't of major priority. Cuddles, um, confirmation of love, and the sweet things that the, t uh, that the dog does for the tiger will always keep them in their mind, you know, whether they're off here, they're everywhere. The dog will be close to the heart because there'll be them little touches, that sensitivity, um, to remind them that they've got that somebody special. So let's go with the Aquarius dog, the Aries dog, the Libra dog and the Leo dog. Um, I would find very, very strong matches. Um, the ones to avoid are going to be monkeys. Um, and it's no different for the Gemini Tiger. All monkeys this is. Um, they just really do operate totally differently. Um, although there's that quizzical nature that could draw them to each other, um, the tiger will be wanting to do it in a just, honest um, and an in-depth way. They want to really study and zone into that side of it. The monkey will like to skim across the top, take out the good bits and move on because this is all about pace. The Gemini tiger okay they flux but they do like to absorb something a lot more and they find the monkey a little shallow and then the monkey will find the tiger gemini a little bit uptight and a little bit oh hold on a minute you know you're zoning in a bit here let's have a bit of a laugh um they don't click and uh that you know it's, it's a good one to avoid that at all costs on a health wise um i talk of the gemini's uh uh possible lung problems and this is uh, still a very apparent um, a problem with this combination asthmatic or um, very prone to chest infections bronchitis um, and because they are very very busy people um, sometimes they do forget to you know look after themselves a little bit in the sense of you know they do go out in all weathers but you've got to remember the chest is a weakness and just be very very careful with that and um, you know you don't want to really smoke if you can help it easier said than done I know but if you can help it then I try to, you know really if there's any sign I say don't smoke cigarettes or any uh, reefers or whatever you want to call it um, this is the combination because you know Gemini's do struggle uh, in that area. Okay, I thank, thank you for joining me on this issue and uh, please join me for the next one. Thank you very much.